Let's go here. Let's go here. Hey. Come on, that's what it's all about here. Hey, Ryan, what it's all about. Let's go. Go play some hockey, eh? Let's go. Um, I'll take the I'll just take the ham. Of the ham, Swiss, please. Turkey tripped tripped a fan in the turkey. Yeah, I'll try this. One. Ready to rock? It's the hair, eh? Uh, a little uh, oil. Yeah, oh, you yeah, use it? I can yeah. tell. It looks good. Dude, does it look good? Yeah, it looks, it you, looks good. You let, joking with me right now? No, no, but you look like a. <laughs> it's a uh, curl nourish oil. All right, guys, tight, tight quarters in here. I just want to. Uh, this, we just want to start getting the routine. We don't have great video on Muskegon yet. Obviously, it's all preseason stuff, so we're, we're figuring stuff out. But, but this is going to be kind of our routine as we go forward and have a, a little bit of a, a video. Um, we just want to give you some trends and ideas uh, of how the other team might play. A lot of times it's special team stuff uh, that's most important. And, and we'll see once the season goes on, we're going to play the same teams quite a bit. So not much will change in their systems. Uh, one thing, uh, we've been really impressed with the overall leadership of this group. It, it's been great. Um, but we want to see it play out a little bit more. Everything to this point has been kind of easy, fun, training camp. Everyone's playing. We want to watch this group when there's a little bit of adversity, which is going to happen. It could happen today, could happen practice next Wednesday. So we're going to let that play out a little bit before we decide who the captains of the team are. And that'll be it. Okay. All right. Brian's got Good. some video here. What did you want? What do you expect your team to do in that first game? Well, we, we had about 10 days or so before we got to Pittsburgh to kind of be around the guys. We had some preseason games. So we were getting to know each other. They were getting used to how we were going to operate on a daily basis. So it, it, it was fun to get to know the guys and, and see kind of what we were going to be because I didn't know really what I was walking into in terms of our group. Okay, they'll get guys lost and they'll slash on their breakout. Right, cost us one early in the preseason where we stepped up too soon, right? They hit the slasher, so just be aware they like to slash. One last thing on Muskegon, uh, our, our back check funneling is gonna be very important. Their D jump all over the place. They don't get beat up the ice. Don't get beat up the ice. Does that make sense? I think we like our group and we think there's a lot of good pieces there, but you really don't know until you drop the puck for real. Like, the, the East teams, bro, they, they play like, that up and down fast, so like whenever we're in the neutral zone and we can just go, we gotta just go, you know what I mean? Good uh, little snack before the game, not too bad. A little, not too heavy either, just nice and light. Yeah, good stuff. So do you have any hat tricks? Uh, I do not have a hat trick, I'm a defenseman, so it's kinda, it's tough to get them, but this guy, this guy's got quite a few hat tricks, eh? <laughs> I don't know, he's definitely, good sandwich though, eh? Good sandwich. I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I'm the best guy to be mic'd up. I'm a little quiet before games, but. You don't, you don't talk so much. I'll be talking. I'll be talking today. Uh, Arizona Coyotes draft I, pick. I give it to uh, draft pick of the Arizona. He's got that nice little pull shot he's been working on. See it in practice. You'll probably see it out there today. A lot of people here. First game, it will be good. Finally get to the regular season, so. Um, Preseason was fun, but it's fun to get into the regular season, see how everything uh, is gonna shake out and everything. So I'm excited, I'm really excited. See, uh, I think we got a good group here too, so it'll be fun to see what they can do. Say hi. How you doing? Defenseman. Say hi. Defenseman. This guy. And then, that's it up here, I think. Murr, where's Murr? Murr. Murr, oh, defenseman, right here. Yep. Yeah, defenseman, so that's all we got up here, but. How's it going? Good. Hey, where? Does anybody know where our skates are? I don't know. I think Braden might have them. Yeah, Braden has them. Does he? Yeah. Smells, like, smells like the old garage when we were little. I have three siblings, all the stinky hockey gear in the garage. Just like home. Hey. Uh, last year, ended up in the standings, didn't do too well overall, so. It, uh, it wasn't a great year, but hopefully this year, I think we're gonna be a lot better, so.
Oh, this is sweet. We got our nameplates up and everything. That'll play. You know, I think we just want it more. All of us want to play in the NHL and, you know, we all want to be players. And I think that that starts in practice with our habits. And once we leave the rink, we're all, we're all buddies and we're all friends. But, you know, during practice, when we're, we're, we're going at it, we're going at it hard, you know? So I think that's kind of what makes us different. This is a good place to start. I mean, everybody, everybody in the uh, hockey world's here. So I think this is a good place to show what we got. That's for sure. Uh, try to go with a little bit of EDM, a little looser music, you know, uh, let the boys, you know, have fun and then 10 minutes till uh, warm up. So we kind of dial it in with some, a uh, little bit of rock, a little bit of rap. So, you know. Aiden Spooner, he's our goalie from Toronto. I would describe him just as Andre Vasilevsky. That'd be my player comparison to him. Brady Yakish, University, oh. University of Minnesota commit, no big deal. He's ready? All right, you guys ready to roll? Oh, yeah. all right, perfect. Well, I think for the start of the 22-23 season that it's appropriate for Cole to give out this, the starting yeah. lineup tonight. Yeah. Woo! Good afternoon, Curtis Anderson with you. It is time for more USHL Hockey Fall Classic action. And it is now the Sioux Falls Stampede and the Muskegon Lumberjacks. Let's go here. Let's go here. Hey. Come on, that's what it's all about here. Hey, Ryan, what it's all about. Let's go. Let's go play some hockey, eh? Hockey, we're going to play hockey today. Let's go, 2-2. Two, two. Let's go. Come on, 1-5. Game time is coming up here in just a couple of seconds. Two new teams, and I look at Sioux Falls, and my goodness, they have a lot of returning players. I think they're going to have a nice season. Dunbar and McCarthy, and we are underway. Anderson on the draw. They'll play it back to the blue line. Looking to feed it is... And there's a shot from way out. I see if that's deflected. It's Maxim Sturbeck who takes the shot from the blue line. As Sioux Falls... Looking to add to their one goal lead. Coming back is McDonough for it. He'll wrap a shot on a goal. And there, Will McDonough gets his first goal of the season. The turnover by Supos. Quick shot on a goal. There's a big answer. Good puck. Good puck. Over to Good little east west. Behind the net. Sioux Falls trying to break out. And kept in by McCarthy. There's a shot. Put off shot. And a goal again. Oh, it's tied up! After the puck is Zelenka. Down low, another shot at a goal. And just like that, Muskegon changes momentum. And looking for the shot in deep. Shot at a goal again! And Heimovic will strike with six seconds left. 20 minutes of hockey in the books. And right now, Muskegon in control, 5-2. All right, Irv's, Irv's jumping in the net, um, uh, and, and just a couple things here. I'll, put, uh, I'll jump in here. Okay, we, we talked a little bit about the leadership and adversity today. That's adversity right there, okay? Uh, things were great for about eight, nine minutes, and then it changed. And, 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 and when that happens, you need a momentum breaker somehow. And sometimes what we did, we doubled down and we complicated the game. We started throwing soft pucks through the middle of the ice. We were turning pucks over on our goal line. We got soft and, and, and stopped making strong plays with the puck. Everything was cute. Everything was too complicated. Does that make sense? So we, we need to simplify. Now is the time where you buckle down and it's a five foot pass and a five foot pass and then you get one. We have 40 minutes, we have plenty of time. We need five guys fighting to help out our goaltender, to help out our defenseman. All five guys are there. Does that make sense? Okay, now we get a fresh start. We get a fresh start, new attitudes, let's go back to work, okay? Five on four advantage now for the Stampede. Trailing, need to get a goal back and get back into this contest. Face off, one by Sioux Falls, out to Sturbeck. Sturbeck hands it off as they set up on the man advantage. 
Working below the goal line and bring it back outside. It's left circle looking in, shot of the goal! There's Maddox Fleming on the power play goal. Also hacked forward by Young. Young coming towards the net. Guarded well by the Stampede. Come back there. Did not do so. Another shot of the goal from outside. Oh, fuck. Oh. 326 left and a two goal deficit. Here's Muskegon. Here they come across. Hodson looks. Fires a shot off the mark. Rattles over left wing side around the boards out to the blue line. Figueres hands it forward over to the right side now. Boyer. Cross size feed looking in. Waiting. Firing a no backside shot and a goal. Looking shot off the mark. That taken by McDonough. With three seconds and this baby is over. Muskegon is going to be a 7-4 winner over the Sioux Falls Stampede. Uh, there, there were certainly some positives out there. There's things that we'll learn from um, and some things we got to clean up. And the biggest thing is taking care of the puck. Uh, uh, just too, too casual sometimes. We, in, in the offensive zone, we can't just throw the puck around. You know, every once in a while, we just kind of get it and chuck it to space. We want to hold on to it and, and make plays. That's the way th this team is. is uh, uh, we have a team here that can do it. So, so now we just got to uh, build off that. And it'll be the same itinerary tomorrow. We'll do the same exact thing in terms of in the morning, uh, uh, 9 o'clock breakfast, and then we'll go from there. Okay? All right. Obviously, a disappointing loss. You know, we always try to go out and compete as hard as we can every game, but had a tough first there, gave up, gave up a few goals we shouldn't have that's you know, not on our goalies. We gotta be better in the defensive zone. I think we kind of let our foot off the gas a little bit and then had some defensive breakdowns that ended up costing us. And you know, after the first, it was 5-2 after the first, we got a few and there's a lot of really positive things that I thought. And I think in the second, we played really well, we outplayed them, got a couple, got a couple there. And you know, I think obviously it's tough, tough giving up seven, but you know, I think there's a lot of things we can learn from. The shots are pretty even and you know, I think if we if we get some more on the special teams there, that's a that's a close game. And I think if if you give us a couple more games versus those guys, we're going to beat them. So we learned from that one today. Put it to bed, and we get after it tomorrow. It's a whole new day, whole new game. Look at Sioux Falls. They look awfully, awfully good. Sioux Falls on a high-scoring game. We've got a great group of guys in there that want to win, and uh, I think a little time, and we'll be there, and just no give up from the team. And that's I think that's a huge sign from the start.